Good morning. A uh, couple of bases in today uh, need looking at. Belong to a recording musician who's due in the studio this weekend. He's going to be recording whatever. Uh, but it's two bases, two men. One being a Gibson Blackbird. Never seen one of these in the flesh before. There you go. There you go. I've got it the quick, a very, very quick once over. Not really looks it in depth. Um, I know the action wants looking at definitely. Uh, the intonation needs sorting out. There's a, a lot of relief in this neck, which I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to straighten the neck out a bit. There are a couple of frets need attention. There are a couple of eye ones. I've been over and skimmed over them this morning. So, going to do that. Should be a pretty basic setup. Uh, with basses, I charge a different rate to, add it to guitars because these are quite a lot easier to set up than a guitar. So, rather than doing a... Uh, I only do two setups on these. I do an intermediate and I do a complete. Because you can't really do a, a basic setup on a bass because you're doing virtually everything anyway. So the difference between an intermediate and a, and a complete setup. Complete setup gets your electrics done, gets your frets levelled, up to five frets levelled. Where the intermediate gets your guitar set up, your nut cut, your radius set, your action set, your neck set, uh, frets polished and fingerboard treated with uh, mineral oil. With a complete setup you get all of that plus the extras, the electronics, any wiring wants doing blah 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 blah. And your rates on these are a bit cheaper than a guitar. For an intermediate setup, it's 40 quid. For a complete setup, it's 55 quid. So you're saving yourself uh, 15 quid each time. Um, you know, so 15 quid less to get a, a base set up. But like I say, your setups are a little bit more in depth. So um, that's it. This one should be pretty straightforward. Um, all I really need to do with this is get the action right. Get it as low as possible and get it playing without any buzz whatsoever. I'm going to tune these into D as instructed and um, I'm going to crack on with them shortly. So, as I say, he's bought two in. Uh, this is one of them. I'm going to show you the other one now. Just bear with me a second while I get it out of the box. I've already started looking at the second one. Now, the second base is a base I've never seen or heard of before. And this is a little bit, uh, it's very bling, this base. Now I've already taken the strings off and there's a reason for that, but let me show you the bass. So I've taken the strings off, we're hanging off. There you go. How bling is that? Look at that metallic glitter finish. And what's that name say there? Marinello. This is a, never heard of them, Italia Marinello. That's the postman, that's good because I need that gear. Italia Marinello, never heard of it. Um, what a what a strange guitar! Look at that. Looks like marble, doesn't it? So you've got like a marble effect all through the wood there on the headstock, and you've got a glitter finish there. Very very strange bass. But anyway, this what this needs is this doesn't just need a setup. This pickup is falling in. It's falling into the body. So what I need to do is. Can't replace the strings, uh, the springs, because it's the actual lugs on the pickle. I'll show you what, you know what a lug is. Let me just get a pickle out and show you. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix it. And what it is, these are the lugs here. And what's happened is the lugs are stripped. So how are we going to fix that? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I've ordered some brass nuts to place underneath the lugs. I'm going to widen the holes in the lugs and I'm going to solder a properly fitting brass nut to the underside of the lugs on each side to create a new thread for the bolts, the uh, pickup bolts to bind onto. So that's what I'm going to do, so I'm going to fix that. It's the best way to fix it. Um, and brass nuts do solder. So there you go. And this also solders, the lugs also solder. So that's how I'm going to fix it. So I'm going to crack on, um, get these two done. I'm not going to film any of the work. Straightforward setups. This one Probably a little bit more um, work on the Italia one because it needs a setup and it needs the electrics doing. As is a new customer, I'm going to chuck him a little free extra in there. I'm not going to charge him for doing the pickup. Um, I'm just going to charge him for a setup. So there you go. It's M2 ready to go on the bench. Strings is going to go. We're both, we're both going to be tuned down to D. He's going with heavy core strings. Done lot. I've used these on guitar. I like these strings. These are the bass ones. We're going to tune down to D. We're going to put them strings on both. Gonna crack on with it and um, I'll come back later with an update when they're done. There you go.
just back again briefly with these two bases I got in this morning and regarding the Gibson Blackbird um, there's a problem with a truss rod nut it's actually uh, the corners have, uh, have rounded off uh, so I've recommended we replace that nut now I managed to get a socket on it using a small 8mm, an 8mm socket with uh, some extensions on there I've managed to get right in and nip it up to get it as tight as I need it to be the thing is with the rounded corners, and we'll see if you can see it on the guitar itself. I don't know how much you will see. Here you go, we're right in the centre there. If you look, if I just uh here we are, here's the nut itself. Now it doesn't look too bad from that angle, but it is quite it's not brilliant. If I just zoom in. focus you've got there it will find a focus here you go it's found a focus if I just go in with a small screwdriver and um, I pinpoint where we are now it's not so bad but these corners are all rounded off and it means we're not getting a good grip now I've got Gibson I've got a Gibson truss rod wrench the thing is I can get it on around at certain angles because this is quite long but the thing is look it's just rounding over it's spinning now like I said I've managed to get this on got a good grip on there shoved it right and got a good grip and I've managed to tighten it up to where I need it to be but it's not ideal so I've ordered like I say I've ordered a new nut from Black Dog Music I paid the extra for fast shipping so it should be in a couple of days now the thing is I could have taken this off and try and clean these edges up made it a 7 mil. but the thing is once I get to here it's not spinning anymore I can't get the wrench in so I'm gonna to have to get it once I get this off I can't get it back on and I'm leaving it on just in case the other one doesn't turn up before Sunday because this base is going to be used to be recorded. I've set the neck level anyway, as level as it needs to be. Let me zoom back out. See what I've got there, keeping the strings apart. I've kept the strings at the same tension and I put a piece of card between the two strings so I can spread it so I can get into the knot. And that is just keeping the strings apart, I mean like so. But it's just keeping them apart so I can still work in that area without having to take strings off and I've still got it under correct tension it means when I've set the truss rod which I have done and I've set the level of the neck we're all um, we're all right there so that's it so back to where we are with this like I say I've ordered the knot that'll be in a day or two uh, I'm still going to set the guitar up anyway um, get the intonation done, which I've already, I've already done the intonation. I've not quite yet done. I've not yet done the radius on the bridge. I'm going to crack on with that now. I'm going to set it up as much as I can, and I'm going to wait for the truss rod not to uh, turn up. Regarding the Italia base, um, the nuts I need to solder onto the lugs of the pickup. They've not turned up today. I even paid for extra shipping to get them here first class. It's eBay and it's a post office. Half the stuff don't turn up when you want it to. Post office aren't brilliant. We know that. So it's just a matter of waiting. So as much as I wanted to get these on today, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna actually go and crack on with something else. Uh, I've got plenty of projects in line. Um, so regarding these two bases, I shall come back to um, come back to them and I'll give you an update as and when I do one. See you soon. So here we go with the Gibson Blackbird base. The setup's done. Even though I need to change the truss rod knot. I thought I'd get the setup done anyway, and it's had a complete setup. There are a couple of issues with this. The neck had too much relief in it. Now I managed to adjust the truss rod nut and get the neck as straight as I'd like it. But another problem was this bridge, I was not able to get it low enough to get the action above the 12 fret, the string action low enough. Um, so I've had to dismantle the bridge and knock in these inserts. I take I took out the screws. Not the post in a millimetre or two on here gives us more adjustment on the bridge it means we can sink it lower into the body which I've done um, it's had a complete setup like I say there were, there were a few frets a little bit high but they're not really a major concern at the moment there was also a bit of wear on the frets I would look at the future in the future it's either getting a refret or getting a, a complete fret level we've got four or five frets which are rocking a little bit now because of the action of the base it's not really going to cause us any concern right now, but I'll be looking if we start getting any buzz anywhere later on. We need to start looking at getting these frets levels because, like I said, we're a few high at the moment. Not a major concern right now. So that's it. I've done the setup ahead of time, even though the new truss rod not has not arrived yet. 
but it means all I've got to do now is when that truss rod nut comes on, I'm going to just take that one off, put my new one on, tighten it up uh, to where it is now, but now and just make sure the tune is right. And once it is, that's it, really easy. So this is done. Really quite easy to work on for me. Um, like I said, it's had the full bit, the radius is all set anyway, so the bridge altered, lowered, where the action lowered, we had the neck straightened, uh, we've tightened up all the tuners on the nuts there and on the screws on the screws at the back. There's a cap missing there, didn't notice that. Don't know if it's in the case or it's been missing for a while or what. So there you go, no electrics to worry about on these. There's an off on switch, so that's it, off on job done, that's all you need. So that's it. Um, I can't do the next one, but I've got another base to do, the Italia. I can't do that until the nuts arrive. Hopefully they're going to be here tomorrow, but I'm in no rush for these now. You can wait till the weekend. So that's it. Uh, nothing else to report. I'll come back with an update on the Italia base and this one once the bits arrive. That's it. Talk to you later. Welcome back. Um, Gibson Blackbird. All done already. The new Trussrod nut came today. I've installed that and also between the truss rod nut itself and the truss rod I've installed two small washers. Now what that's going to do is it means that the adjuster is going to be further back that way. It means also we've got a lot more adjustment in the future and it's easier to get to that nut. Um, washers I use, I bought, I, I always have these in stock. Little brass washers, I've got two different sizes for different size truss rods. Just stick a couple of them in there, it gives you so much more adjustment and it means get this adjuster on there really really easy now, it bites really easily and um, we can adjust it as much as we want, uh, got loads of adjustment on there now so that's done, I've just got to put the cover back on, the setup's done got the neck nice and straight, got the action nice and low, 2.75 on the 12 fret on the low string 2.2 millimeters on the high string, that's from the bottom of the string to the top of the 12 fret Absolutely perfect action. As stated, I lowered the bridge slightly more into the body by just knocking the studs in just a millimetre there. Um, I'm going to show, there's the old, uh, old nut. Not as bad condition as I thought, but still got rounded corners. So I'm glad we've replaced it. We've got a brand new one on there now. I'd rather go get a Gibson one. I bought this from Black Dog Music in, um, on eBay UK. Cost me £6.30 delivered rather than paying nine, ten quid for a Gibson one. Uh, it's the right thread, um, right size, just shy of eight mil, uh, which is, I think, it, I think I believe it's a five eighths. Is it five eighths or three eighths size? Not anyway, whatever it is. Anyway, it's all done. I'm going to put the cover back on there. Um, I'm then going to move on to, bear with me a second, to the Italia base. Uh, these arrived this morning. These are the brass nuts. And what I'm going to do with this is, blah 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 blah, just show how it works. I'm going to solder two of these onto the lugs of the pickup because the pickup lugs, the holes in the pickup lugs have gone too big and the pickup is slipping down the thread. So what I'm going to do is we're going to actually widen the holes in the pickup lug, in the, um, in the lugs and we're going to solder some of these brass knots onto the lug of the pickup and then we, it gives us that, gives us a new thread on there. I'll show more of that when I get to do the video. I'm going to get this Blackbird, get the truss rod cover back on, put this Blackbird in its case, all the intonation's done, everything's done. Like I say, frets, it's had a full setup, frets policy a lot. Um, I'm going to now move on to the Italia. I might show a little bit more video work on that and um, I'll come back with another update later. Just a quick update on Indy's bases. Um, I we had the problem of the pickup falling through the uh, pickup ring itself. I've actually done something I've never done before, and I went and bought some um, some little brass nuts, these gubbins, to solder, because I, I realised that brass solders onto the lugs of the pickup. So I'm going to actually bring the base to the camera. And if you see here, I've soldered two nuts, one on the underside of each pickup lug, and now the pickup moves up and down absolutely fine. Um, see if you can see there. There's your new knots soldered on to the pickup there. Um, and that's going to give us the movement we need on the pickup. We can move it up and down. Um, so that's it. I'm going to put it back in the guitar. 
and um, it's all going to be absolutely fine. We've got full adjustment on the pickup. Doesn't look too fantastic, but you're not going to see that. So at the end of the day, it's about getting the bass playing right. All I've got to do now, uh, I'm going to uh, put a bit of oil treatment on the fingerboard. I'm going to polish some of the frets, polish the frets. I'm going to do the setup, and it's all going to be ready to go. Back with an update later. Good morning. Uh, straight in at the deep end with this um, Italia Marinello bass which I was setting it up this morning, absolutely fine. And I wondered why I could get an adjustment on the bridge. Now, how this bridge works, it's a, I it's a, um, can't remember what the bridge is called. It's, a, it's a fully adjustable. But, and how you work it is, you've got a bolt on the top which tightens and you've got a, a Allen key screw inside which brings a bridge up and down. Then you tighten this. Once you go to the right height, you tighten this bolt. Now this one wouldn't move up or down on this side and I realized why. I'm going to show you inside. I took the nut off, looked inside, and it was broken inside. Look, it snapped. So I can't adjust this up or down. I could do it from the bottom with the if I had the right tool, because you get a tool with these things. It's like on the PV custom PV guitars. You've got like a spanner. It's got it's got a round bit and it's got two straight bits. We can get a spanner on there, 12 mil spanner. You can adjust it up or down, or you can do it with the Allen key. Now, and how that works then is. Once we've got it to the height I want, we'll put this nut back on that sits over the top and it tightens the bridge. Now the piece in question, I'll show you again, is the piece in question that's broken. Can you see that? So really, I can't adjust the height up or down of the bridge. I can still set up the base and the nut and the washer will still go on, but it's not going to be perfect. And I've, I've talked to the owner of the guitar and I've said, look, you need to contact Italia and tell them you need the bridge post. I've not looked at the other one. I actually I'm a bit reluctant to take her off in case that one's broken. But I've said to him, get two. And it's not this part you need, it's the part that sits into the base, that is screwed into the base, this part here, that needs replacing. You need two of them. And what we can do then is we can remove those and we can put new ones in. Um, it might pay me to remove the strings again. These are new strings, by the way. It might pay me to remove the strings and uh, then I can show the part in its fullness. So I think I'm actually going to do that. So uh, give me a few minutes and I'll be back shortly. I've decided to actually show the process of me removing this bridge in case the one is broken. So I'm going to move the camera and you're going to come around and see this with me. Now it's just a bit with why I move it about. So there you go, the camera is now on the bridge and I'm going to remove this while you're here. Um, what is 12 mil spanner, that's loose now anyway so it should just screw out. And what it's going to do is it's going to, we will be able to see the state of the other one. Because it should turn on, right, this one is also cracked, seeing it straight away. Let's remove the bridge. And there you go, this one's also cracked. Um, they just so you don't need the there you go. Can you see that? Yeah, there's a crack this side as well. Right there where my finger is, and if I show it's got a crack down the side there. So these are what we need, um, they're not adjustable that way up or down either, it's just with an allen key so we cannot actually adjust this. If I go a plier on there, chances are I'm going to um, break that, so I'm going to get a plier on this side and I'm just going to turn it, here we go, and we've got it cracked. I'm going to need to bring it back just a little bit more. Now, can I get the base back together? and make it playable. Possibly. The reason I wanted to show this on video is it covers me because you know end of the day when a guitar is in my key if I cause any damage I have to put it right. Now the problem with this one like I say that piece was cracked off and there you go 
sure you can see that there's a great chunk missing out of there so these two things need replacing uh, the inserts in the body are absolutely fine I'm going to take what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some pictures of these and send them to the owner of the guitar showing him that both need replacing and he'll know exactly what to order um, that's it so I'm going to stick them back on there I'll put my camera back where it should be good thing about this I've got and I virtually know exactly where this camera always needs to be because I position it every day. So, removing the bridge, removing the strings out of the way. What we need is these posts, what we need to replace. Now again, I'll take them out, this one drops on the floor, this is the really damaged one, that's how it should look, I turn it round, and there you go, great big chunks falling out there, uh, and this one, the second one, I can see it, this one's ready to go as well, this one's cracked, it cracks right down there, and you can see the crack, about 5 or 6 mil, I'll have to zoom in to see that, so they need replacing, uh, it won't be an expensive affair, I'd imagine this is covered under guarantee. What I am going to do is, I'm going to attempt, I'm going to set up the guitar and I'm going to put these in, I'm going to gently put these back on, uh, the nut and the washer, so at least the base will be playable, but it's not something that uh, I recommend we do. Um, like I say, get in touch with Italia, we could be a guitar company, and show them these. I'm going to take pictures of these uh, for you, which you can send to them and get it sorted from there. Um, that's as much as I can do for now. I'm going to try and get the guitar set up as it is, even with these damaged. I'll make the best of a bad job, and we'll get it at least we'll get it playable and buzz free. So if you need to record with it this weekend or play with it this weekend, you can do. Um, and then when it comes to getting it, I'll get, get, get his new studs, you bring it back to me and we'll get it sorted out, back shortly. Well, good morning. Um, final part of um, the two bass guitars I had in, um, this one being the Italia uh, Maranello. Now, you remember with this, we had a problem with the bridge because the way this works is the adjustment up and down on here, you've got two posts and you get to the two posts through the holes in the top of these two knots. Now, the two knots just hold the bridge onto the post and we level it out and, and tighten it up. Once you've got the height set, to set the height, we use an Allen key inside these two holes and we're higher or lower the bridge using that. Now, the problem with this was, it wasn't going up or down and I thought, I'll have a look. So I had to look at the mechanism. On taking the bridge apart, I realized that the um, both these posts, adjusters, were both damaged and I've let the owner know, sent him pictures, uh, uh, shown him a video. You've seen the video yourself. In particular, one on the uh, bass string side, this bit had snapped off from a bit on the inside, and it's where you adjust with an Allen key. So that's had it. So if we need replacing, so I've told you to get in touch with the company. But what I've had to do is I've had to manually higher and lower the bridge till I've got it more or less where it needs to be. And it's took me three or four goes because the way you have to do it is you have to take the strings off, dismantle the bridge, alter the height of each post, put the bridge back on, put the strings back on, tune it up, tighten the strings, tune it up, then go and measure the height of your strings. Now I've had three or four goes at this, so it's cost me quite a bit of time, but I've got the action to more or less a recommended height, 2.8 above the 12 fret on this one, and 2.2 above the 12 fret on this string. So we've more or less got the action where we need it, we've got a tiny bit of relief in the neck, but the main thing we've done with this bass, and the reason it came in, not just for a setup, because it wants a strings change and all that, it, this pickup was falling into the guitar body. And if you look back on the video, you, you'll see what I did to fix that. And what I actually did was, I bought some brass nuts. Uh, now brass, brass solders onto brass, well solders anyway. And so, pretend this is that pickup. What I did was these lugs, I put the screws through the lugs with the springs, got them where they need to be, and I put a tightened a nut on this side. And once I tightened on this lug, on each lug, I soldered the nut on. So now we've got a good thread.
to alter the pickup up and down on the thread. So that's the fix I did on that. First time I've done it, um, worked really, really well. So that's the main problem with this base now sorted out. It can, it can move the pickup up and down. Like I say, but the thing is, on, on sorting that problem, we find another problem with the bridge. Now, Inder, the owner of this base, he says, but I don't play the base heavy. How has that happened? Well, you don't have to play a base heavy uh, for that to happen. When a company are charging a lot of money for a guitar are using a tin pot metal in their parts to penny pinch, right? It's not good. You, these, I think these guitars cost eight, nine hundred quid, maybe a thousand pound, yet they're using tin pot alloys and brittle metals in their components. They should be steel. There <clears throat> should be no compromise. So anyway, I've told him to go and contact the company. Uh, I've given him pictures and he's got this uh, video as evidence. I said, send it to the company, I told them both those posts need replacing, and if they've got steel ones, to send steel ones. What I'll do is, when he gets them, if he wants to bring the guitar back, I'll fit them for nothing. Uh, it's going to be a 10 minute job, and I'll sort it out for him. Um, but apart from that problem, the base itself is set up, I've done the intonation, uh, I've done the action, I've set the neck, tuned it in. So the base is ready to go. I've also tightened these gubbins here. Uh, and the screws on the back of the um, tuners. Always give them a little nip with screwdriver. So that is done. So that's his two bases finished. He's got this one, which is the Italian Marinello. Very, very bling, isn't it? And uh, the other one I did was the um, Gibson Blackbird, uh, which was really fun to work on. So that's it. These two are out of the way. The done is going to come and collect them before download on Sunday, um, early in the morning. Um, and that's it, another project out of the way, and uh, that's tied this one up. So until the next project, as always, be good to each other, and I'll talk to you soon.